My name is John McKeon. I'm the moderator for the Teradata River, and today we have with us Kathy Kuntz from Nationwide Insurance. She is the Associate Vice President for Customer Information Management. Welcome, Kathy. Great to be here, John. Kathy, you're talking at Partners Conference coming up under a great banner of customer loyalty and analytics. And we talk a lot about big data and analytics, and it all sounds very technical. But at the end of the day, you're really affecting a real human being and trying to drive certain behaviors. Tell me some of the big challenges around taking big, complicated stuff and actually making it sense to really impact a human being. Well, I think a natural assumption that big data means big decisions. And so you're taking this big data and trying to find opportunities that can be worth tens or hundreds of millions of dollars within a large organization. But there's also opportunities to take that big data and use it to better manage and grow individual customer relationships as they interact with your company in sales and servicing channels. So you can use that big data to find the interactions that are most threatening to your customer relationships or help reinforce those customer relationships over time. And then you can alert your sales and servicing staff when they are engaging in those interactions that have an opportunity to either threaten your relationship or an opportunity to grow it either through improving retention subsequent to that interaction or selling additional products during that interaction with the customer. And this comes at a time, oftentimes, where the customer has chosen to interact with the company. So they're going to be much more receptive to any message and they'll be listening. So you can take those analytics and that big data and deliver it out to one sales or servicing associate to help guide their conversation with one customer. Well, Kathy, that brings up a great point. How do you really align sales and marketing and their processes with analytics? Well, I really think it's by taking these opportunities to interact with customers and looking for ways that as your sales associates are interacting with your customer, you can use those times to reinforce your brand promise. So marketing is out creating an image of the company through their marketing activities, whether it's advertising, online marketing, uh, interactive marketing, or direct marketing. And that creates a, an impression in a customer's mind of what this company is going to feel like as they engage with this company. And you can use your analytics to deliver out to the sales associates opportunities and conversation content and interactions that they can have that help reinforce that brand image that marketing has created out in the marketplace. It helps sales become more effective because it can align some of their conversations with images that consumers have from your company through your marketing. And it can help your marketing become more effective because it gives the sales organizations the opportunity to activate against those marketing messages. Kathy, when you have these analytics and when you actually try and drive this, one of the big elephants on the table is change. So you can drive all the big data, all the analytics that you want, but unless somebody decides to change, and I think you have this in your presentation, it's a change how they allocate their time, their dollars, their human resources. How do you actually make the change? It is hard. And I think oftentimes in too many data warehouse or analytic projects, the investment in change is insufficient. I describe it a lot of times as, you know, if I'm building a factory to produce a great new product like these analytic insights, and I go to a group of venture capitalists and I say I'm going to invest all my time in the factory and getting the products on the shelf, maybe have one launch and some three, six-month period of advertising in my marketplace, my company, and then I'm going to expect the quality of the products to sell themselves. 
I don't think there's too many people that would fund that, but that's the exact approach that many organizations have taken with their data warehousing and their analytic capabilities. And so what we've done at Nationwide is we have an ongoing business engagement and consulting organization that's closely affiliated with our customer data initiative and our analytics. They partner with our business units who, as you mentioned, are the ones who are going to have to change how they invest their time, human or financial capital, to take advantage of the analytic insights. And so I see our business engagement and consulting organization really as our field sales. They're out there talking to our consumers, guiding them through how to use this, helping to understand the strategic and tactical challenges that they're facing and how our analytic capabilities can help them. And then they're also representing back into our program the needs of those organizations and how we can evolve our subsequent products to align more closely with the needs of those organizations. So it is an ongoing concerted effort that can't be just a one-time thing, but it really is part of the cost of doing business, of having a very robust analytic capability. Kathy, if we look at kind of the strategic change functions of how analytics could change tried and true processes, how it may actually impact the organizational structure itself, and and ultimately how it may fundamentally evolve the culture, how do you see analytics doing process, organization, and culture transformation? You know, it goes back to your people process and technology, just the basics of any change initiative. But I think sometimes with the analytics, there needs to be a real concerted effort around education. So there are varying levels of understanding of how to effectively make decisions based on data. So just ensuring that your consumers have that basic knowledge is table stakes. But I think there's also then the ongoing effort around alignment really at all levels of the organization, a strong peer-to-peer alignment between your data warehouse and your analytics group and your operating units at multiple levels so that you can have alignment around priorities, alignment around activities that are expected, behaviors that are expected, and even ultimately leading to changes in even compensation that may be required to take full advantage of your data and analytic investments. Kathy, excellent. I've got one more question, and this goes to really the first two words of the title of your presentation coming up here at Partners, and that's customer loyalty. Does the organization get it in terms of what data and what analytics role is in terms of evolving and transforming customer loyalty? I think customer loyalty, the term, has meant many things to many organizations. And understanding what your organization views as customer loyalty is is key to be able to really improve that over time. Nationwide, though, is at a point where Our customer loyalty is observed through the retention of the customer, the share of wallet we have with that customer, and their relationship with Nationwide. And so we really focus on customer behavior and observable activities as the hallmark, as the expression of that customer loyalty. And that's pretty well accepted across Nationwide. Kathy Kunst, thank you so much. Please attend her session. You will not be disappointed. She is a great speaker and she has great content. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, John. Always a pleasure.